Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's Burning Rubber here, and the Tesla is finally here. Uh, you know, in the previous video, I talked about selling the A4 and getting an electric car. Um, and so here it is. I bought it off Craigslist. I'm super happy with it. But there's one thing that I really don't like about it, and it's all the chrome trim pieces all around the car. Um, and so like the logo here, the little accent piece for the frunk and, and the bumper, likewise together there, your repeaters for the camera, mirrors, chrome everywhere, your handles, even on the bottom, which I, I didn't even know until I got the car itself. Uh, so just too much chrome. I just really don't like chrome. Uh, the A4 was blocked out before uh, before I even did any work to it. It just came with no chrome on, on anything. Uh, and so we're going to do the same sort of work on this car um, just to get rid of uh, the, the chrome everywhere. And so online, there's different kits that you could buy. I bought one uh, called Nikola Pro. It's, it was about $180. It's you know, hundreds of pieces probably. Uh, we'll still look at the box there in a second, but basically just a whole bunch of little vinyl pieces from 3M, uh, laser cut into the piece that, uh, into the size that you need to use for whatever uh, component you're chroming out. Uh, so that's gonna be kind of a process that we're gonna be doing here in this video. So let's check it out. So here's the kit itself, a uh, little box, Nikola Pro. Um, like I said, there's different options online. There's also, um, yeah, there's just other ones that I came across, but I, I like this one because it had sort of the most pieces uh, involved with with getting everything uh, blacked out. And so it comes with a, with a heat gun, and like I said, about $180 for all this. It has a little squeegee, little plastic piece, and then here's really where the, where the rubber meets the road. You have just so many little pieces of vinyl. Um, like I said, it's, it's the 3M uh, film, the, the 2080. All right guys, so we sort of organized all the pieces here on the table. Uh, maybe a little bit overwhelming, but we counted there to be 51 pieces. Um, and that being said, there's also double of every single piece uh, in case we do screw up. So awesome for them doing that. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, sort of all the all the different pieces of chrome that we're about to black out here. So we're gonna probably start with with the passenger side trim and work our way. So whatever we do on on one side, we'll duplicate it on the other side, just so that the driver side I think is more better quality and then from there we'll probably go onto the door handles the mirrors and just get it all done until there's no more chrome on the exterior so we're gonna first uh, apply some alcohol and wipe down the area that we're about to apply the the blackout kit on just to make sure that there's no debris and that the surface is fully dry alcohol does dry really quickly so no issues there but we want to make sure that the the adhesion is as best as possible and now we're gonna go ahead and start wrapping it. We'll start with this uh, passenger T1. So the P standing for passenger, D standing for driver, and then T stands for trim. And then in this case, it uh, looks like there's only, well, there's, there's one piece, or this is the first piece of the trim, and then it goes up to two, three, and I believe it only has three or four pieces for trim. So you can see that there, there's kind of a decoding that needs to happen uh, before you're able to understand where each piece goes. Alright guys, so we are back here on day two of using this Chrome Delete Kit. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do the driver's side. We're going to start with the back here, work our way to the front, do the door handles, the mirror, which is 13 pieces itself, and then the side camera. 
Um, in addition, we didn't get to it uh, last time, but we're also gonna do some details in the front and also in the back. So let's get to it. wrapping the Tesla Model S. Uh, we just have the front and the back remaining. So uh, the front accents here and then along with the vents on both sides. Um, so that's gonna be about 10 pieces or so. And then the more tricky one probably is gonna be the, the little accent on the trunk itself. You could see that the, the letters, they protrude a little bit. So the, the, the wrap that we have slides right into that and then we could we could stick more vinyl on the letters itself so you will see some chrome unfortunately from the sides but pretty excited to see how it's going to look and then we're also going to uh, take off this model s emblem so yeah let's get to it
All right guys, so we are now fully complete with the Blackout Chrome Delete Kit. Uh, I just kind of want to walk you guys through uh, the pros, the cons, the challenges that we had. So this kit took us about nine hours to complete. Uh, we, we broke it up over the course of three different days since we we're just doing it after work. So we'll start with the front here. Uh, we have the Tesla logo got blocked out along with this little accent piece for the front bumper. So generally speaking, it looks really awesome. In fact, if you look at the new uh, 2022 Tesla Model S's, you'll see that they have this blacked out, but not the logo. So we decided to also block it out since it came with the kit, so why not? And then in addition, the front here has the, the louvers for the fog lights. Um, and so there's also a radiator back there, but basically also got that blacked out. Looks really, really awesome. And so that's all kind of the chrome pieces that we have on the front section of the car. Um, I would say, generally speaking, these weren't too challenging to do. We did have to use a, a heat gun a couple of times just to stretch the, the material a little bit and so for it to conform with the shape uh, a little better, but nothing too difficult. Now, as we walk around the side of the car, we'll kind of go into the more challenging uh, areas. We have the, the repeater here with the camera. This one wasn't too difficult. Again, we just started from, from this edge here, applied some heat so that we could get over this contour really nicely, and generally speaking, it looks really great. There were a couple areas where we had to touch it up with a Sharpie, but generally speaking, very minimal. Uh, I don't think we even had to do that here, but I'll point out a couple of details uh, on the other areas where we had to just dab in a little bit because the chrome is still incredibly visible if you like leave a little sliver of it. Um, by far, the most challenging piece is the mirror itself. Um, and so right now it's in the folded configuration, so if I do unlock the car, um, you can see that this section alone probably took at least an hour per side. Uh, it contains, I believe it's four, uh, 14 pieces, 14 or 13 pieces individually uh, laser cut and you know, they make it as easy as possible. However, it's still, it's still pretty tedious um, and just challenging uh, to get it very precise. You have to be a very patient person to be able to sit here for about an hour and just put all the pieces right. Um, I will say they, they, uh, the, the, uh, kit that we got uh, that Nicola is a uh, has some really great reviews and tutorials as to how to do it so those videos were really awesome to use and so then we have the trim pieces that go along the door frames and the window frames nothing too challenging here I will say one detail uh, they have this split right here which doesn't really make sense to be honest but it's basically a split in the vinyl that has really no reason to be there so it's pretty tricky to get that to align just right. So that's one of the areas where we had to use a Sharpie just to touch it up and get rid of that additional chrome. Otherwise, I mean, you could still kind of see how that Sharpie wore off a little bit. So it's still a little shiny, but generally speaking, I'm pretty happy with it. The door handles, door handles are pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just one piece. Uh, definitely have to apply more heat than uh, other areas just because you have some really tight curves down here. And then it just kind of folds over underneath and whatnot. And yes, you could still see chrome on the inside of the handle but it's something that no one's ever gonna notice. And especially when, when the handle gets, when the, door, when the car gets locked, um, pretty much very, very seamless. I love the way it looks. Um, in addition, the Model S has this little trim piece on the bottom. So we also got that one blacked out. This one was pretty straightforward, um, but once you do open the door, you'll see that that chrome is still exposed. But it's something that like is not even a big deal because no one really looks down there as they're opening the door and you don't have the door open for most of the time that you have the car. So no, no big issue there. Um, and then as we get to the back here, we'll look at, again, the Tesla logo in the rear. We blacked that out. Very cool uh, method in which we did it here is there's basically a transfer paper and you're able to just get it aligned up and then just peel off that transfer paper and you have the logo exactly where you want it to be. So I love the, I love how clean that looks. And then this um, accent piece in the trunk. So this was one giant piece and then it also came with the individual letters, which was actually pretty tedious to do. Not challenging, but just more of us kind of picking at it, making sure it's aligned and whatnot. But generally speaking, I'm pretty thrilled with it. I don't love how you could see chrome on the, on the edges of it. Obviously, like if this was a 2022 Tesla Model S, this whole piece would be black, the letters included, so there would be no chrome whatsoever. Um, if I really get bothered by it, I might look into just either spray painting it black or plastic dipping it, or maybe even buying uh, the, the trim piece for the new Model S. I believe it's probably the same exact um, form, fit, and function, uh, but that might be something in the future that we do. But uh, yeah, that's kind of the review of, of the Chrome Delete Kit. Generally speaking, I love the way the car looks. I think it looks a lot more more modern. And you know, I just personally don't love Chrome. I, I, the, the A4 never had any Chrome, which was really good. Um, and so it's nice to get rid of all of it on the Tesla. So 
Uh, we have some other pretty exciting reviews coming up for, for this car, so definitely stay tuned and be on the lookout for some new videos because uh, we're going we're gonna to do some pretty sweet stuff to this Model S, and I think you guys are going to like it a lot. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.